Hey everyone, this is the Giver Discussion that I promised you. We're going to go into major spoilers, so be warned. Um, I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Um, really excited to hear what everybody thinks. Um, really want this to be a discussion where we can talk about um, what I've spoken about or what your opinions on The Giver was. Um, really excited to get into it and um, let's do this. So my thoughts starting out were that this would just be an okay book. Um, it ended up surprising me. I liked it more than I thought. I decided to read it because of another YouTuber that I watch a lot. Her name is Murphy Napier. I'll link her down in the description below. I really enjoy her reviews and I trust her opinion. Because I did watch her review, I noticed that um, I kind of knew some things going starting out. When Jonah became the receiver, I saw it coming. So I very much understood that Jonah was going to be the receiver going into the book. And I also understood that he was going to go into a transition. He would learn a lot and then become um, a more enlightened young man. What surprised me was the way that the memories were transferred. I really enjoyed that. Um, instead of just an old man telling stories, it was he was giving the feeling. He was giving the temperature. He was giving the... Um, sense of emotion, which it seemed like emotion was completely um, removed from what happened in the community beforehand. So it was a huge new emotion that Jonah hadn't, hadn't personally engaged in, and I think that was interesting for him. Now, release, on the other hand, I, I knew that was going to be killing. The thing that really got me on it was how cold it was how the father went about his, his activities as he dispensed of the twin, I thought that was pretty shocking to me. I assumed that it would be the father kind of putting the twin in a bin, thinking it was going to go somewhere else, and then um, kind of a whole um, what I don't know doesn't hurt me kind of idea. But no, instead he injected him with poison or whatever it was to euthanize the baby and then on the same hand he was fine doing that to Gabe he was like oh it'll be a big loss but it was not like an emotional connection and I thought that was so put offish really for the idea that the the dad was just willing to kill this baby he's taken care of and loved and brought his own family and knew the name of and for for that it, it was really shocking. I did not like that at all. And I think the author did a great job of making us not like it. Even though we knew what release was, the cold, emotionless way that it was discussed um, did what she intended it to do. And I think, I think that did really well. My thought process on what the government was doing is, is really if um, a very cold, scientific government took over and they decided that we would um, do a weird version of the John Lennon song, you know, where it's like, well, there'll be no religion, there'll be no color, there'll be no um, difference of thought. They used a lot of um, pressure through social interactions and the, um, the speaker to where um, anytime you stepped out of line, you were publicly embarrassed and you did not want to do the wrong thing. I, I believe that it was a very effective tool using embarrassment. Personally, I feel that a lot of our society's compassion comes from our roots in the Judeo-Christian background that the country was founded in. Um, you know, Christ himself really had the idea of love your neighbor. And through loving your neighbor, a lot of things, um, mostly things that I see if um, we took a cold approach to it, we would be willing to get rid of people who, you know, didn't help. Um, we would be willing to get rid of so many things because, oh, well, you know, they need to be cut away. They're not effective. They don't help out. They're not part of what we do. Personally, I feel if we remove the Christian idea from our normal day-to-day -day lives, we would really go back in time to a um, harsher, more... Um, sterilized world. And I don't think anybody would enjoy that. It made me think of this neat question. 
if um, two colonies left Earth because of some cat catastrophic event, um, one made with 100 scientists and one with 100 Christians, which government or which uh, colony would you want to be in in 20 years? I personally believe that the scientific community would be so much colder and harsher and even though you know there may be some what a lot of people call backward ideas the Christian colony would be one that everyone would really want to live in because of the compassion now I don't want anybody to think that I'm like a science denier or that I don't believe science is great I really do I think God created um, a method to the science of our world and in his creation I think it's wonderful that we have such amazing things that we can do now um, and we've learned more and the technology has has been available for us to um, learn more about medicine to learn about um, the stars to learn about his great creation I think science and religion go hand in hand and I think the idea of it being separate really happened in the old Catholic Church in Europe where they just fought anything that was new I don't think um, true Christianity has ever said that um, science is bad um, but a lot of times the people who are the harshest against Christianity are scientists and so a lot of times I feel like they they butt heads and then maybe that's that old mentality and I hope that we can break through that and science and God can can be together that way because I enjoy them both Sorry, I know I went off on a tangent, but I really enjoy talking about that kind of stuff. So when the girl receiver before Jonah ended up being the um, giver's daughter, I was not shocked by it. Um, I, I didn't necessarily expect it, but it wasn't like one of those um, situations where you're like, oh man, that's shocking. But um, I was pretty, pretty off-put by the idea that the giver never gave Jonah any survival skills, how to start a fire, how to um, catch food, how to, you know, what um, things he can forage for, anything that he could have really done for um, him and Gabe when they ran away. Um, none of those memories were given to him. He was basically thrown out into the world with a year of memories, and I, I was pretty floored by the idea that he just was helpless and it made me think back on the giver himself lived in such a sterile controlled world he had these memories but he didn't have the wherewithal to think when i send jonah into this world he's going to be it's going to be hard it's going to be dangerous he's going to have so many challenges and he really needed a deeper foundation in how to um, provide for himself i know those memories were there it just the giver did not have the thought enough because he'd always been provided for what would be needed when he left this the safety of the community. Which, yeah, the community was very safe. But when you, when you thought about it, it was so sterile. I wouldn't want to live there. I don't think anybody in their right mind would really want to live in such a um, petri dish, I guess, if, if you wanted to call it that. So, as much as I hate to say it, I'm pretty sure that Jonah and Gabe died. I think they froze to death. I think um, as he was dying, the um, sled was a figment of his imagination that kind of helped him move on. Um, I, I enjoyed the book. I'm going to read the next one. Uh, I think it's called Gathering Blue. Um, I think the author did what she set out to do. Um, so I'm going to try to put a video out next week. Uh, please let me know what you thought in the comments. I really enjoyed um, doing this. I hope we get a bunch of comments and I can respond to you and go back and forth. Um, maybe you thought what I said was silly. Maybe you disagree with what I said. Maybe you agree with what I said. Maybe at the same hand, you just want to say, hey, I think you're doing a great job. Um, probably not. Uh, these are early in my YouTube career, but I am really excited. So see you next week.